name's Kent Smith. I'm the writer, producer, director, and editor of Mike. And I'm Patrick G. Keenan, and I play Mike in Mike. Yeah. So this is a little time for us just to talk about the film and what we did during the film. So you know, we get to just kind of play around here. So I just got a couple of questions. You know, how did you come up with your, you know, de how did you develop your character? And you know what you go, what processes did you go through? I know me and you talked a lot about. We did. It we talked about how scary it is because that's something that you could really, uh, it could go bad if you make a, if you make bad choices. That, that was one of your biggest fears when I was talking to oh, you in the beginning. It was it's like you're like it's, I'm scared uh, scared of it. And I was of like, any role I've ever played, that is this has been the scariest yeah. one because uh, which changed after the first day of shooting where I was like. All right, I found him. I, yeah. where he, I feel comfortable in him. But what That's I did you is you shaved uh, off all your face about that time. Like how many times did I make of you? Chunks flesh how many, coming off. How many times? Where we felt we have you shaving for about three hours. To I shaved start. for a long time. <laughs> I shaved for a really long time for that opening shot. But what I did to prepare for the characters, I have a friend who uh, works with some intellectually challenged uh, people as part of her job, and she does equestrian. Uh, uh, that deal too, in addition to one-on-one -on -one stuff. And she gave me a lot of helpful information. It was my first resource. Then I also uh, went to the media, and the media in the last God, maybe five to ten years has been portraying people on the spectrum uh, a lot more. So we have movies like Adam and TV shows like Atypical, and uh, I pulled pieces here and there from that. And a little bit was based on my mom, who uh, in her later years had uh, extreme dementia. So there's a little bit of her in there, and the rest just kind of came together. I think one of the things, nice things that you did is the very nuances that, you know, that was the one thing we wanted to pick up on this film was the, the small nuances that, you know, that actually these, you know, on an everyday basis, you know, I've been told, you know, since we've shown the film numerous times, you know, people come and like, I really like the fact that, you know, your main actor was, you know, picking up and had these little small nuances that what is what we go through on every single day, you know, when they have kids that have this. And well, I'll tell you one thing, what started as the Mike's, Mike's hand mm -hmm. up like that actually started as both hands because he rides his bicycle all the time. Mm -hmm. And when he gets uncomfortable, he tries to put on the brakes. Yeah. So uh -huh. it became this little thing, but then it started becoming just the one hand. And then the the funniest thing is when you took pictures of your nephew, uh, his nephew had just one one hand up in one of the pictures and went, oh wow. Yeah, this, and, uh, and, this, and the story was, you know, based off of what my nephew, um, you know, what he'll be like when he's 50 years old, he's four years old. But what old, you imagine right? he'll, what he'll we'll be What we'll imagine, like, yeah, because yeah, we're hoping, you know, for the best on all aspects of it. Um, but, you know, he's intellectually challenged and... How know, old is he? He's four he's right four now. Years old. So, you know, it's gonna be, you know, what he's, you know, what we could see him, you know, being down the road. Um, and, uh, you know, and, and what he, the struggles that he's going to go through on an everyday basis, you know, with uh, and one of the things that we're really working on right now and the writing on the full feature aspect of this is, you know, the, new, the nuances that they go through every day with dealing with other people and misconceptions of how people perceive them uh, and, and the struggles that they go through internally, you know, of not being able to understand the situations of how people are reacting to them. And, and just people not understanding that, you know, we're all alike, you know, we're all human beings and like, you know, we could be realistically on Although in side. the short right now, everyone who encounters Mike kind of ends up uh, being in a better place. Right. Because he talks about his dream, his dreams go to the beach. And then these people seem to get uh, reflective and go, what's my dream? What do I, what do I want? And they kind of go off and, and do that. So. Yeah. yeah, it's kind of nice to see that happen through the story. And I think, you know, when we were writing it, you know, we had, uh, I had a, an interpretation of where I, I wanted the story to go. And, you know, then it just really sort of fell into place and all the actors that we had on set and uh, just were just amazing. And, and everyone just really gravitated to the story and, and believed mm -hmm. in it. And I think that's a rarity too in, in today's society. But we, you know, it's nice that we're able to put this out and people, maybe this will change the way people view things, you know, down the road and, 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 and potentially help all kinds of causes. And, and the struggles that people got. It was through. a passion project for, Very for so. so many of us, and it uh, it was effortless as far as like 
wanting to be there. Mm -hmm. It was hot as hell. <laughs> we filmed in this some guy, of the hottest. If this months. guy could find a way to shoot me on the surface of the sun, he'd be like, <laughs> here, ride your bike on the sun, put this helmet on, well, and uh, <laughs> I, we, we did have a telephoto well, lens, we'll get you. <laughs> yeah, we couldn't get the sun close enough to us, uh, but you know, bring it in a little bit closer. But, but you know, really, truthfully, we, you know, we uh, we wanted it to be real and feel real and like his struggles. So you know, uh, there's you know we very hot. very hot, very hot. You know, we were shooting on days that were 100 degrees a lot of times. Uh, you know, not always. In this, there wasn't our choice, but it just turned out that that's the days that we were shooting, and and at the time we were able to get well, through. Well, you know, it was July. Together. It was June, July, August mm -hmm. in that area. So. It's going to be hot, and most of the scenes are outside. Right. So yeah, there wasn't I tell much you, AC. I, I did love the car scene. Yes. Because of the AC. That's right. That was really nice. <laughs> yes, uh, and we had very few scenes that had AC going. So uh, we did. Even mm -hmm. the, even when we were filming, we'd shut the AC down. Um, exactly. <laughs> yeah. You know, uh, let, let's talk about like the uh, you know our, our final scene. Uh, you know, we were filming out uh, in Wilmington, Wrightsville Beach, actually, and uh, you know we kind of. The day we were, you know, we chose was, was... Well, we got there the day before. Right. And we were going to scope out, and you guys are going to bring the equipment, and it started raining. It started pouring. Mm -hmm. And you said, well, let's leave the equipment back at the hotel. We'll just go... Yeah. We'll take a glance at the beach before we get uh, some din. Right. Some din din. And uh, we hit to the beach, and the sun comes out. Yeah, it was it's beautiful. the most, most beautiful thing. Uh, but we have gorgeous. no equipment, and our permit's not until the, the next day. Yeah, and we couldn't be shooting on the beach that day, so we had to wait till the next day. And, of course, the weather... And we were also on a push because we were trying to, that day we were trying to get to a film festival, uh, the mm -hmm. Charlotte Film Festival. So we were trying to meet a deadline to get right. the film out. Right. So, uh, which was one of our, you know, big issues at that point. But that was also uh, a situation where, you know, we, we felt that we had to continue to shoot. So we would shoot between windows. And of course we had... And it wasn't too bad at first. It was, uh, it's a little overcast. It was over raining, I, it was overcast. The and... overcast, I think, works well. I think yes. that looks good, but, mm -hmm. uh, or you can make it look good. But uh, <laughs> as we were doing the, Mike could only really get, it, I only had the one pair of shorts. Right, right. And we could only get wet once. Excuse yeah. me, you know what I mean. But I could only get into the ocean one time. Right. And we see this storm front coming and it looks just like the apocalypse is coming for us. It's like, oh my gosh. So Kent, Steve and everybody, we, we run, we get, we get this going and uh, we do the, the scene where, <laughs> where Jonathan and I are in the ocean frolicking and all, and then it just lets loose on us and we all are running, the crew's grabbing equipment, uh, trying to run for this gazebo that's like, down the beach, uh, the tent blew away. Oh yeah, Kent's yeah. Uh, Kent's hair piece came off. Yeah, that piece. Uh, I was able to get find that though. I think that was either that or seaweed. I'm not sure which one I put back on. They look so they similar. Worked. They couldn't tell when we were eating <laughs> later. So, but uh, we then we were in that gazebo for like 45 minutes, well, we trying to just wait just, for it to not dump buckets on us yeah. long enough where we could get all the equipment back to. Yeah, the, well, you guys were. I was actually going and grabbing gear and pulling it. At the same well, actually, time. you and John, John yeah. was doing the same thing. Yeah, and, uh, yeah. John and Steve. So actually, was... Jonathan and I just hung out in the gazebo. Yeah, <laughs> with well, some strangers. And, and, uh, and yeah. you know, we, it was it's part of, it. and that was one of the. It, it was an exciting day, and it's, it makes it for a great story now when we look back on it because uh, you know it was beautiful. Yeah. Let's just...